Hello, I'm Tina Jennings. Now, here are two things that don't sound like they go together, bowling and rhinos, but they actually do. To tell us how is Katie Hutchinson. Katie, I'm going to throw in also a snake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so bowling rhinos and a snake. How does this all kind of come together? Because we have Ted out here with you. Yes. Yeah, so this is Ted. He is one of our male ball pythons from Reed Park Zoo. Um, and he is just kind of here to be an ambassador species to talk about animals that live in the habitat with rhinos. Um, okay. So one of the things that we do for this event is to help support um, the protection of rhino habitat. And with that, not only we help protect rhinos, but also cheetahs, zebras, elephants, and animals like this ball python here. And like Ted. And, and when we're talking about we, we're talking about the American Association of Zookeepers. Yes. Tell me what the association does, who makes up this, I'm assuming zookeepers. Yes. <laughs> so this is actually a national professional organization for zookeepers. So primarily made up of zookeepers, um, but also volunteers. Um, interns, docents, things like that, people who are just in love with animals and want to help more. Um, so as zookeepers, we work with animals every day, but we really want to help those animals in the wild. Um, so the Tucson chapter is made up of zookeepers from Reed Park Zoo, as well as the um, Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum. And we go and sponsor events all through the year that help raise money for conservation of both local and um, international wildlife. Like our rhinos. Uh, so the rhinos, I, I'm going to just totally throw it out there. Why should somebody care or worry about the rhinos? I, it's kind of, you know, something specific, but I'm sure it has a bigger picture. Yes. So rhinos in particular, we have the Bowling for Rhino event that was started um, back in the 90s. And this event has been super successful and it helps protect rhinos. Rhinos are amazing animals. Um, there were 25 species of rhinos in the world. Now we're down to just five and all of those species are endangered. Um, so there a very vulnerable species right now, but they're also in a very vulnerable habitat. And by protecting rhino habitat, we protect all of those animals we were mentioning before, Ted here, um, and protecting that habitat provides all of those animals with a place to live and even endangered plants. Yeah. There are lots of plants in that area that are endangered as well. So how is it that we can get involved and help? Um, well, the easiest way is come out and bowl. So we have our bowling event coming up on Sunday, um, and you can come out. It's $20 a bowler, $10 for kids. Um, along with bowling, we also have a great raffle. So if you're not a bowler, but you love animal things, we have all of these great animal gifts that we're raffling off. Um, we have photos and prints and paintings that are all going to this great cause. Can I tell you that the one up front here, I think you said that a, an artist has donated this as one of the mm -hmm. raffle, raffle prizes. It's beautiful. Yes, this is actually by a local Tucson artist who we just connected with on Facebook. Um, I think her name is Kirsten Dill, and she did this great painting that we're really excited to raffle off. Oh, my gosh. So, of course, we have the raffle people. Like you said, even if you don't bowl, come be a yeah. part, uh, buy some raffle tickets. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Um, and then, of course, the prize is going to give you three hours of unlimited bowling. Yes, three hours and your shoes rental of unlimited bowling um, and you get a chance to hang out with all these cool animal lovers zookeepers and everyone from the zoo and the desert museum as well so it's a lot of fun awesome so of course we can come out we can bowl we can get a raffle ticket um, is there maybe anything else that we can do outside of this event to be more uh, engaged and focused on this of course well we do have a Facebook page it's Tucson AAZK um, and through that we advertise our events we have events going on throughout the whole year um, that emphasize different conservation projects so it could be something for local Jaguar conservation um, it could be a buffalo grass re uh, removal event things like that so you can have events where you can come out and physically help Help, events where it's fun and we can uh, donate to wildlife conservation causes or just events where you can come out and learn more about local wildlife and your local zoos. I think there's plenty of opportunity. We just have to make sure that we go on and find out when all of these are going on. That's a great place to have it all on your Facebook page. Thank you, Ted, for coming. And you know what the best thing about bowling? You don't even have to be good at bowling to have a good time. Exactly. I'm not that great, but I love to go do it. So this is the perfect event. Thank you, Katie, so much for coming today. Great. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. You guys, one more time, that Bowling for Rhinos will take place this Sunday at Golden Pin Lane, starting with registration at 5.30 p.m. For more details, log on to Facebook.com slash Tucson. On AAKZK.